Hey everyone, it's your girl Maddie here, aka Beaver Mosh, and today it's my February installment of Maddie's Monthly Mentions. And in this monthly segment, I go through and briefly talk about a pretty long list of records that I just didn't get to record a review of, but records that I enjoyed. I listened to a lot of metal throughout the month and wish I could talk about more of it, but I am a one-person operation. The idea of this video is not necessarily to give you the runners-up, right? I don't necessarily review albums based solely because they were the ones I mostly enjoyed. I try to review things that are not getting as much attention, which I think should. There's always exceptions. But I just think with a channel of my size, records that are already getting a lot of hype, it, it, it doesn't seem it would seem like repetitive for me to just add to it. But I will mention that stuff here, and also I will tell you about things that just. I have a limited amount of time that I can review. I, I only put out a video every other day, so here's me just telling you about all the other stuff I enjoyed. So without further ado. We'll have to get started. Out of Olympia, we have a Severance from the band Returning. This is some raw, atmospheric black metal being released on the always wonderful Realm and Ritual, a label you should keep on your radar. We had Harrowing by Mithridatum, some dissonant death metal. I already said a lot about this record in a review I wrote for Sleeping Village. So I won't go into detail here, but I will link to you that review. Earlier this month was Bandcamp Friday, and I was particularly excited about this batch that Death Prayer Records put out. I, I tweeted about it, I talked about it in my community tab, but there were a handful of releases that came out on the same day from this label, and I thought they were all fantastic. It's just a bunch of raw, black metal that I know it's not fair necessarily to lump them all in as one, but just so much music came out from this specific batch that I'm just going to list them all here and tell you to listen to all of them and check out Death Prayer in the future for the great music that they continuously put out. Out of Ireland, we have Violent Providence from Sketh Danaeth, I believe it's pronounced, and this is just some sprawling black and death metal it's two long tracks it feels like this epic journey you're on and out of portugal we had disintegrate by oak this really engrossing funeral doom it's one 45 minute track and it's a side project from members of the popular black metal group Geria. from the uk we had drown in the shallowness from Elder Seer, and this was a super enjoyable, kind of under the radar, epic doom metal album. And out of Portland, we had The Hanged Man from Coffin Nail. This is some really nasty ripping, kind of a hardcore slash death grind hybrid that does go into some unexpected places, like with some noise elements and even like free jazz moments out of florida soul mass gave us let us pray a super crushing yet melodic at times death doom project that is highly inspired by the game bloodborne out of france we have leo castra from the band woo and this is some post metal tinged instrumental experimental doom metal with a lot of layers to be absorbed by i'm really glad i gave this one a chance out of sweden carnosis released visions of infinity and this is a super unique death metal album that's kind of thrashy kind of melodic kind of techy and interchanges those approaches as it feels fit and it all seems to work together 
and it's heavy as hell. Out of Phoenix, Carpet Bomb put out Awakened Terror, and this is just some ripping death thrash to not, that doesn't overstay its welcome, don't overthink it, just let it be a punishing death metal record. Out of Bangkok, Lotus of Darkness put out Towards the Emerald Emperor, and this is just an enthralling little black metal EP that stands out with these very emotive Thai inspired folk melodies. Out of Idaho, Stone Sword Key put out Age of Dark and Fire. And this is a super solid melodic doom metal EP that is Elden Ring inspired. And I'm just really excited to see where this project takes this direction. Out of lead, Pest Control put out Don't Test the Pest. And this one came out of nowhere. Enjoyed the hell out of it. Just some ripping crossover thrash super fun has that punkish in your face energy and aggressiveness siemra put the tread of darkness out and some this is just some grim caustic outwardly evil black metal out of belarus out of detroit we had nightmare visions from theophonos and this is a very interesting project it's a side venture from the ashes of Serpent Column. And here with this project, we get this more avant-garde take on black metal, married to some mathy hardcore. It's really chaotic at times and it's just super cool. And out of Portland, Tithe put out inverse rapture and this is just an absolute face melting onslaught of an like a hybrid of death metal black metal and grind hell ripper warlocks grim and withered hags hell fucking yes one of the now leaders in this black and roll black and speed metal this guy already has some incredible albums under his name and I think this is his best work by far, fully realizing the Hell Ripper potential. Just incredible riffs, adventurous songwriting. I enjoyed the ever living shit out of this one. The US based author gave us two albums under the 30 buck spin label. And this is just some complex creeping, dismal, highly atmospheric, black and death metal with some labyrinthine song structures to get sucked under. Parasitario, everything belongs to death. Just some crushing, no frills, death metal out of Japan. Out of Seattle, we had the self-titled release from Telomerous. And this is just some slick but rough around the edges. Heavy metal with some melodic sensibilities. Just some killer solos. Great songs. Really enjoyed this one. Hexer put out Abyssal out of Germany. And this is a really interesting record. It's like an atmospheric, suffocating death metal record with some doom element and some touches of black metal. It's, it's kind of a genre agnostic experience. Okay, I, I, I believe this is pronounced Landshap Shinochronismen <laughs> by Oerix. And this one's a winner. I'm, I'm glad it's getting hype. Uh, just some raw, atmospheric, bleak, but at times beautiful black metal. I am really looking forward to where this project takes the momentum from this demo forward. I believe this is pronounced for Letfim from the German-based Deprivation. This is just some really abrasive, crust-punk-infused death metal, something I have a soft spot for. Out of Athens, Georgia, Beast Mode put out this EP called Seventh Solstice. Seventh Solstice, I'm sorry. Doesn't overstay its welcome. Just some absolutely wretched black and thrash metal. Scourge from Sepulchre out of Italy. This is some 
monstrous, abrasive death metal that has a modern sheen to it, but also maintains that old school nastiness. An EP I almost missed from there, Insanity, Manitoba based project, a project I really dig. I reviewed this project's last record, The Giants of Mink, and we get some more spacious, kind of oddball, psychedelic at times black metal here. Not much to analyze on this one. Out of Boston, Horrible Earth put out Weakened by Civilization. 17 songs, 15 minutes of absolutely nasty grind. Fucking grind. Italy, Wastelands from Morwenian. And I talked a little about Fillets last month. And this is another project from that group of musicians of some very atmospheric, lovely at times, black metal, really enchanting and mystifying, but does have that bite when it calls for it. Out of Switzerland, we have Maiden Power from Megaton Sword, a band that I am a fangirl of. I loved the last Megaton Sword release. And this is some epic heavy metal with a high fantasy approach to the genre. Grand choruses, real nerd shit, aggressive and hard hitting times, but also euphoric as well. Out of Massachusetts, Frosk put out Stone Prison. Some raw, sinister black metal mixed with Dungeon Synth from one half of Hexablad. Out of Sweden, we have Fatal Encounter by Air Raid. Sleek, fun as hell, heavy metal. Don't overthink this one. They don't take themselves too seriously, but they don't think of themselves as a joke either. Out of Sacramento, Sarcoptes put out Prayers to Oblivion, and this is some black metal that leans into some ferocious thrash territory as well. Experiments with some longer songs and, and lyrically, very thematically tied around history and war atrocities. Thing rips. I have a couple power metal wrecks for you. First, Under the Veil of Madness from the UK-based Ascension. And this is kind of my eccentric, over-the-top power metal record of the month. Big, cheesy choruses. Nothing wrong with that. Out of Tokyo, we have Judgment Day from Love Bites. And this one hits. Grand choruses. Slicing riffs. Awesome melodies. Really enjoyed this one. Out of Finland, Insomnium put out Anno 1969. Band's been doing this for a long time. Really moving, powerful, emotive, but still heavy, mellow death. Out of Japan, we got Fester Decay's Reality Rotten to the Core. Gore Grind, not for those with a weak stomach. This one is disgusting. Out of the British Columbia, Hail the Void put out Memento Mori. Some stoner doom metal. Stoner doom that is crushing, but also has a lot of feeling and uh, emotion. And some songwriting experimentation. It's a really interesting take on the stoner genre. And out of Netherlands, Body Farm put out Ultimate Abomination. And this is just some excellently executed, no frills, Death metal, not much to analyze, nothing wrong with that. This thing kills. Out of Boston, Isolent put out Drain. It's a Sentient Ruin Laboratories release. And that's one of those labels that I'm always kind of peeking at because they always put out interesting tunes like this. This EP is some industrial tinge doom metal, really noisy, anxiety inducing, chaotic. Comfy, cozy stuff. Av 
Velnader Vortum Alt is my best attempt at pronouncing this album from Bray. And this is some raw, mysterious, dungeon synth leaning atmospheric black metal. Two long tracks to disappear in. We had Frozen Hull, a split from two excellent atmospheric black metal projects out of Philly. We had Robes of Snow, and out of Bristol, we have Uzlaga. And just let this one wash over you. And hey, we had a, another split from Tra, this time with the fantastic India-based project Set. And lastly, Tallis put out Fandis Kao, some Norwegian black metal veterans. This one is a slow burner that develops with subtlety, takes some time to kind of digest everything going on because there is a lot of rich textures and details. And if you're patient with this one, it can be pretty stunning. And that's what I got for you. Hope you find something in this list that you want to check out or stands out to you. If you enjoyed this content, hit the like button. It would mean the world to me if you would subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any thoughts whatsoever. I love engaging with those. I have a Twitter link to that bio in Link to that is in the bio of this YouTube channel. And hey, keep it metal. My name is Maddie, aka Beaver Mosh. Signing off.